To edit pages on your website, hover over the Website tab in the top navigation bar and select Build Pages. This will take you to your sitemap, which shows you all the pages on your website. Once you've added a page, you can then go in and edit it. Click on the page that you want to edit and select Edit. Here you'll be taken to the Edit mode. You can adjust the grid in the background to make it easier to size and place your widgets. To do this, select the grid size. You can make it bigger or smaller, or you can even turn it off if that makes it easier to move and place your widgets. On the left side of the screen is the widget locator. This allows you to see where your widgets are on the page if some of them are overlapping or are difficult for you to locate. So if I scroll over this navigation widget, I can see that it's right here. If I need to edit it, I can just click on this here and it will show me where the widget is so I can edit it here. To add a widget to your page, click on the widget up here, drag it, and drop it on the page where you'd like it. If you want to delete a widget, unlock it by selecting this unlock button here, click on it and select delete and then select OK. Here is a text with editor widget that we've already created on this page. To edit it, unlock it, select it, and click edit. If you want to copy and paste from Word, select this icon here and paste from Word and then select Insert. This ensures that you don't have too much messy code. If you do happen to have messy code, then you can clean it up by selecting this broom icon here. You can also copy and paste HTML by selecting this icon, insert the HTML and select Update. You can add images to your text by selecting this icon here. You can insert the image URL or you can browse your computer for images by selecting this button here and then select Insert. Make sure that you always save all your changes and make sure that you lock your widgets to keep them in place. If you want to edit your images, Unlock the widget, click on it, and select Edit. You can then go into the Image Editor. You can choose to add a text or remove it by clicking here. You can crop your image. You can select your image by clicking Select Image and then browsing your computer for your image. And then save your changes. To resize your widget, make sure that it is unlocked by selecting this button here. Hold down the shift key, hold down the left click on the mouse, and resize the widget. Again, make sure the widget is unlocked. Hold down the shift key, hold down the mouse left click, and resize your widget that way. To move a widget, again make sure it's unlocked, hold down the left click on the mouse and move it to where you want it on the page. Again make sure it's unlocked, hold down the mouse and move it where you want it. And then always make sure that you lock your widgets to keep them in place. Our vast selection of widgets allow you to add virtually anything you want. You can even add a third-party widget. To do that, go to the General Widget category and click on it. Then select Add Your Own Widget, drag it, and drop it on the page. Then unlock it, click on it, and select edit and then you can enter the widget code here and then save it if you want to. To delete a widget again just select delete and OK. 
If you want to add a flash file onto your site, drop the text with editor widget, which is in the images and text. Here's the text with editor widget. Drop it on the page where you want it. And then upload the file to your image library. How you do that is to go in and edit it. Unlock it. Select edit. Go into your image library and upload the file to your image library. You can upload it from your computer here. You'll need to save the flash file as an SWF file and then insert it as embedded media to display it. So just select the browse here to select the file from your computer and then select upload. So we'll select browse to go into your image library. Again, make sure the image is saved as an SWF file. Select Browse here to go into your computer. Once you've selected that image from your computer, then select Upload. Again, make sure it is saved as an SWF file and insert it as embedded media. Make sure that you always save your changes and make sure that you always lock your widgets to keep them in place. If you want to ensure that a page is not visible while you are editing it, go to the sitemap, select the page, select Edit Page Info, and then you can uncheck the Show and Navigation bar and the Active option. This will ensure that visitors to your website don't see the pages that you're currently editing. And then select Update.